My daughter said, Mother, couldn't you write a book about teenagers who fall in love and do it, and nobody has to die? And I thought, yes. Are you there, God? It's me, Margaret. I felt like someone was being honest. That's a gift. That's magic. There was this moment where, wow, like Judy's talking to me. I read Tales of a Fourth Grade Nothing. I read Dini. I like the blubber. This is my favorite book. <laughs> I grew up as a good girl with a bad girl lurking inside. So by the time I started to write, I really had a lot to get out. I could be fearless in my writing in a way that maybe I wasn't always in my life. It was the first book I had read about wanting to grow boobs and the myths around how to get them and what to do. Everything I learned about sex or crushes, I learned from Judy. Let's all say it. Masturbation. Let's raise our hands if we masturbate, everybody. <laughs> oh, Judy. We can take time, taking the rain. Overnight, the censors came out of the woodwork. Forever is banned year after year. Margaret gets banned because it talks about bras. Dear Judy. Dear Judy. Dear Judy. Dear Judy. Dear Judy. Today was the worst day. I have a million problems. Kids opened up to me in a way that they couldn't to their parents. And I would answer. This is the first letter I got from Judy. That was the beginning. We wrote for many years. She allowed young women to be as complicated and messy and funny as we are. I had that recognition of I trust you, and wherever you're going, I'm down to come with you. I don't think that Judy Bloom wrote her books to be timeless. I think she wrote her books to be timely, and they were so timely that they became timeless.